Okay. Wonderful. So welcome and I'm excited for this yoga nidra this evening. I wanted to focus on resourcing and it's sort of an interesting topic for meditation because some meditation practices kind of leave it out in terms of having an internal resource of well-being or ease in the body as an anchor point for spiritual inquiry. And um, I don't know how intentionally it's left out. I think it's just some some models of meditation are are more focused on attention training and um, or or other um, goals. But the the one that I was trained in yoga nidra and the kind of meditation I like to practice and also teach is one that's rooted in resourcing and. I find that it's not really because everyone just needs to have this chill vibe and we got to get everybody on the same wavelength so nobody's, you know, that upset or that blissed out. Um, it's really there for the spiritual practice because when we're doing deep spiritual inquiry if that's what we're here for and also when we're looking into an emotion or whatever it whatever level of inquiry it happens to be um in a, in our meditation practice and life the question becomes can i hold sustain and integrate what it is that i discover and when i have access to having an internal resource of well-being, of ease, when I have an anchor point that I can kind of come back to as a baseline, nervous system, um, homeostasis kind of response in my body that says, okay, I'm gonna get activated, and then I'm gonna come back to baseline of ease and well-being. If I have that kind of embedded in my nervous system through meditation, then when I am at any of those levels of spiritual inquiry and say I am, you know, really inquiring with emptiness or notions around who am I and self and world and, and there's a, a big um, kind of spiritual awakening or recognition that occurs and, you know, suddenly kind of the, the veil is lifted and I see that I'm not anything that I thought I was and neither is the world. Well, that might be amazing for two days, but how does our nervous system psychologically and body-wise somatically um, encounter and kind of metabolize new truths that we're discovering in meditation? One of the ways that we can integrate and metabolize and um, be able to have more consistency of contact with these deeper uh, insights in meditation is through having access to a resource nervous system because what can happen if if we're using the example that I had of having a spiritual insight and then kind of you know the our psyche c comes back online and goes ah you know I'm in total terror right now because I've just recognized that I don't exist and that's weird and I can't kind of you know, hold that in my being as a lived truth. And so practicing meditation with the goal of intentionally discovering, building, and um, coming back to continuously this sense of inner resource of, you could call it peace, peace, well-being, ease, okayness, love, I mean, any name that might come to you that when you're sort of in between things or on a hammock on a summer's day and it's like you have lemonade and there's nothing to do, then this is the feeling of just, okay, things are well, you know, things are well. And when we're able to have more consistent access to that feel, the felt sense of that in our body, then we're able to tolerate larger levels of ambiguity, of complexity, of paradox and able to sustain and integrate uh, spiritual wisdom. 
So it doesn't have to happen in that order. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes we kind of wake up and then, and then, you know, go back for ourselves and build the resources we need to be able to sustain it. Um, so it, it actually, the order doesn't matter, but I do think that the resourcing matters and I've seen it matter, um, because we're psychological beings and we've got conditioning and we live in a context that has systems of oppression and, you know, we're just, we're in a soup of something together. And in order to, uh, be able to kind of faithfully to ourselves, have this spiritual inquiry unfolding, then it's important to really build this inner resource. And so I really enjoy this part of the practice. I've been teaching building this inner resource for many years through uh, the IRS Institute where I used to work with Yoga Nidra and also um, some the work with the UN and other things like just how key it absolutely is to have that baseline. And so wanted to do that tonight and we'll just see what happens. And it's really interesting. Sometimes you can go into look at, looking at building resource or encountering kind of ease or resource in your internal life. And there can be some real resistance that comes up. You know, it's like, eh, let me get to the real meditation. <laughs> or, um, you know, or just like, oh, so cheesy at some level, you know, or whatever other resistance that might be there to experiencing feelings of pleasure and um, equanimity and that kind of thing. So if that happens during the practice, just notice that it. it's part of, part of the process. And if you can, with that kind of earnestness that you bring to your meditation practice, lean in to the inquiry um, of what it would be like to spend a little time hanging out with inner resource. And so, you know, Rick Hansen is great with his, his work. I imagine you both might know him um, with the, with neuropsychology and, and how he talks about hardwiring happiness and, and that really just the negativity bias of our brains and um, the way that we're wired is that we don't hang out with the good very often. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hang out with, you know, the, the good, the pleasant, the, um, whatever it is that, that we encounter. And if it's the opposite of that, then we'll hang out with that. But, um, all, all in, in, um, the interest of looking to, uh, build and develop this internal resource that isn't just for meditation, but then when we get triggered, how quickly do you come back to baseline? I think that's, uh, of, I think I heard of some, some research, this was years ago, someone told me this just casually that, um, some of the research out in University of Wisconsin, Madison on mindfulness, they, they were finding that, you know, it was kind of more interesting about how quickly do you come back to baseline? than do you get triggered? It's like, we don't need to be this, these like overly calm individuals, like let us have a big response. And then how fast do we come back to baseline? And so that's what we're building whether it's coming back to baseline after being triggered or being able to integrate spiritual wisdom, same kind of process dynamic happening in our bodies. So, uh, all right, that's, that's it. I just, does anybody have any questions or reflections before we get into the practice? Okay, great. Yeah, so let's let's begin. So feel free to videos on or off, and um, yeah, find find yourself in a comfortable position that you feel you could hold for the next thirty forty minutes. Yeah, and as you get settled in, kind of just to be aware of where you've come from just moments before now and how your day unfolded and maybe give some attention mindfully to that as you settle in um, this lying down position. You can have a bolster underneath your knees, um, pillow underneath your head. So it's a guided meditation lying down. 
And can you kind of allow, after acknowledging everything that's come before this moment, can you kind of allow it now to begin to fade into the background? So we're making that inward turn of attention. Yeah, so settle in and this practice is here for you to have the exact experience you have. And so if you do fall asleep, you're still really hearing and receiving the words and you can always come back later. So this is, um, let yourself have the full experience of the Yoga Nidra in the way that is uh, meant for you in this moment. So there's no correct way to do it. And see if you can, as, as you've settled in, see if you can find a place in your body that you feel not totally comfortable and then make that comfortable. So you may just readjust your arms. You could have your palms face down on the surface that's supporting you or face up or rested on your chest and belly. And when it feels right, just allow your eyes to gently close. And we'll begin with a, a global body scan. So, so sense your entire body globally here as you begin the meditation. So this is kind of like a 360 view, inside out view perception that you have of your body. And then notice the breathing coming and going. And that 360 view of your whole body being here, having that also be this felt sense. So you're, you're sensing your entire body simultaneously. Breath coming and going. Allowing the senses to open. Starting with sound. Just taking in sound as a receptivity. sight so if your eyes are closed then just what do you notice what do you notice can you allow sight to not be grasping so natural relaxation behind the eyes in the inner ears with sound taste and smell Senses are open. Touch, so finding maybe just the back of your calves or your upper back, one place where your body meets the surface that supports you. And feeling the touch, so your body as it leans into the surface and the surface as it supports the body. So all of the senses are open and if you're just joining, feel free to um, keep the video off and just allow yourself to settle into yeah, this meditation where we're lying down, there's a bolster underneath our knees, pillow underneath our head, we're welcoming the global body sensation and all the senses open simultaneously. So we'll be in this guided portion of the practice for the next half hour so 
And the invitation is to have your eyes closed, to let your body feel comfortably supported, to go into a state of deep relaxation, of meditation. Find your body breathing itself. So it's just being almost so close to the breath as it's coming and going. You feel the intimacy of, of breathing in and out, of being here. No need to control the breath. And set an intention for this practice. This could be to inquire with something that you're holding as a question in your life or in your meditation practice. It could be to simply follow the guidance and see what happens. And perhaps the intention is to support yourself into sleep, whatever it is for you. There's no correct way to do this. So naming inwardly the intention for the practice. Why am I here? How did I come to this moment that drew me? We'll take three breaths with an extended exhalation. So allow the inhale to happen naturally. And then as you exhale, can you let the breath extend a little bit? So it's as if you're inhaling to a slow count of one and you're exhaling to a slow count of two. And just do this on your own for a couple breaths. feeling the surface that supports you. So all of the touch points from the whole backside of your body where it meets the bed or couch or floor, or the surface that's holding you. So as you're breathing, perhaps continuing this extended exhalation and sensing the, the holding environment of where you are. Again, the senses are open, the sound is coming to you, no need to grasp or figure anything out. And let's do an exploration of discovering and building an inner resource. Even if you've done this before, just coming to it anew. So you can maintain contact with the breath as it comes in and out with these extended exhalations if you'd like, or you can also let go of kind of controlling the breath and simply notice the breath coming and going. And we're looking at building an internal resource of well-being, of ease, of resilience. As we do so, I just ask, can you remember a time, a moment in your life that in this moment you felt deeply at ease? Maybe you were in nature with a loved one or an animal, but that you felt kind of extraordinarily at ease, more so than normal. Can you bring this moment to mind and if no memory comes to you, then you can create a moment for yourself that you'd like to have. But picturing where you can be at such ease that there isn't this kind of need to put a social face on, um, a need to be a certain way for anyone else. 
And there's also a feeling of comfort. Words like ease, safety, well-being might be here, peacefulness. Kind of a feeling of where there's nothing to, to grasp onto because there's a deep wellness present. So notice if any images or memories come to mind. You may have had a moment of feeling like this. And choose one that is particularly salient or stands out in some way that when you consider this memory. And for me, it was a moment in the, the large redwoods of, of California, feeling deeply connected, gazing with an owl, you know, that that's a moment for me that I remember. So, you know, it could be a moment like that. It could be a very simple moment sitting on a front porch with a, a grandparent or an animal. So choosing the memory that has the most aliveness for you and we'll use that as the beginning of an anchor and development of this inner resource. Just remembering, allowing yourself to hang out with the memory or with the image that you've created, where your whole being is so at ease and safe and secure that it's not on guard. So you may feel like a relaxation in your body. Noticing what smells are present, taste, voices or sound of water or wherever you are. Notice what sounds you're hearing in this memory. Notice how you feel in your heart and perhaps a sense of spaciousness in your body. And can you allow yourself to actually spend some time here just kind of savoring the memory or the image and making closer contact with your felt sense of how it is to be here in this moment. Remembering, feeling, So part of that work of the taking in the good or being with resource and ease is developing that muscle of patience and presence to be able to hang out with easeful, um, safe, good body sensations. So as you do so, allow yourself to, to welcome in if they arise the opposite. So if there, there are opposite feelings here, we're not refusing those, they're here, but we're allowing our attention to draw toward this memory of well-being. It could be anything from a feeling of okayness to a feeling of deep bliss. So whatever's here for you, just let that unfold in your experience. Tuning in with your breath as you do so. Just kind of riding the wave of the breath in and out. And letting that kind of cascade of feeling through your body happen. Of what it's like to have this feeling of being resourced internally. Take several breaths here, just allowing the senses to fill themselves out, any other images that arise or movement within the memory and the image. Notice what it's like in your body to welcome and receive this quality of resource. 
pleasantness or ease. Our bodies and minds don't kind of know the difference between a memory and a in reality in our present moment. So just utilizing the nature of the mind to invite well-being into our bodies as a somatic lived sense. And then slowly, as it feels right, can you begin to allow the image to fade away? And if, if you'd like to keep the image present, then do. But if it feels right, let the image kind of fade slightly into the background. But maintain connection with the felt sense that's here of this well-being and ease. And can you feel how while the image or memory may bring that up or elicit the sensations in your body, that you can remain in contact with this sense of inner resource, even as the image fades away into the background. So allowing breath and attention to be easeful, relaxed, Coming back to that whole 360 view and feel of the body, resting here, breathing. Training our minds and bodies to kind of tolerate the feelings of pleasure, joy, ease, um, whatever word is there for you, name that inwardly. Letting go of the sense of what's next or the brain's desire to go to what's next and really hanging out the present with this inner resource. And it's now an embodied felt sense right now as we're practicing. So we'll return to this felt sense and memory a little bit throughout the practice. But can you perhaps acknowledge inwardly that this is a place you can return to at any point during the meditation practice and also as you go throughout your days, if you feel yourself triggered in some way, just knowing that this inner resource is here for you to help you return back to this baseline ease, equanimity, love, whatever the word is you're using. Maybe having an internal sense of like a harmonization or balance throughout your body, we'll, we'll do a body scan. As we do so, perhaps just keeping a little bit of attention and presence toward this inner resource that's present right now. Taking a few more of those breaths where there's an inhale to one and an exhale to two. Stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest as the exhalation is just gently lengthened. Inhalation comes naturally, no forcing.
And feeling now the entire front side of your body, face, chest, belly, tops of arms and hands, tops of legs and feet. You allow your attention to be on the whole front side of your body. As the breath comes and goes, you can continue the extended exhalation or you can let go of kind of counting and simply letting the body be breathed. As you feel the whole front side of your body, this is the felt sense, any maybe vibrancy, aliveness, it could be numbness, whatever's present is welcome just as it is. No correct way to do this. We'll go around the body. So now drawing attention to the whole left side, the left arm and hand, the left side of your face and head, left side of your torso and your left leg and foot. You allow all of your attention to be absorbed in the sensation in the whole left side of your body. You may notice even if your eyes are closed, your eyes are drawn across to the left side, allowing that and then let up on controlling the eyes, movement of the eyes and simply feel the felt sense, the whole left side of your body. body being breathed naturally kind of the effortless breath moving now to sense the entire back side of your body back of head all the way to the heels and feeling the contact points with the surface that supports you But it's as if your attention and energy sink into the whole back side of your body. You may feel even a heaviness. You may feel a vibrancy of sensation, whatever is present. Welcome just as it is. Coming around to the right side, feeling the right side of your face and head, your right arm and hand, right side of the torso, right leg and foot. So your attention is now absorbed in your whole right side of your body. Whatever it is you're noticing, just being with it moment to moment. Then we'll move a little more quickly with each breath. So taking an inhale. Exhale, sense the whole front side of your body. Let the inhale come naturally. And then exhale the whole left side. Inhale comes naturally. Exhaling the whole back side of your body. The next exhale, whole right side of your body. So do this again at your own pace, letting the inhale come naturally and then exhale the whole front side and left side. The 
the back side of your body. And the whole right side. Now we'll let go of focusing attention on any one side and just sort of let the eyes relax behind the eyes. Just feeling your whole body here, perhaps tuning in again to that, whether it's the memory or the felt sense of being safe, at ease, held, resourced internally. Just feeling that all is well. All is well. Let's do a body scan and as I name a body part, simply notice what you experience. And we'll map this with the breath. So taking an inhale, as you exhale, sense your jaw. Maybe relaxing your jaw with the exhale. Breathing in and out. Taking an inhale, and then sense both ears at the same time with an exhale. So breathing in and out, sensing both ears simultaneously. So letting the mind want to walk through the body via the felt sense. Taking an inhale, exhale, both eyes, sensing behind both eyes, perhaps allowing, inviting some relaxation, release of tension behind the eyes as you breathe in and out. Bring attention to the crown of your head Next exhale, sensing crown of your head. And as we rotate attention through the body, just feeling this closeness with the breath, the inhale and exhale. Closeness with your breathing, feeling back of your head, back of your neck, exhaling into the shoulders. Take an inhale and exhale both shoulders, both arms, both hands simultaneously. Noticing any vibrancy of sensation as you breathe in and out, both arms and hands. The whole body just coming alive as we bring attention with the breath. Inhaling at the heart, and then exhale out into the whole torso. Breathing in and out now, feeling your whole torso, chest, belly, back. Natural flow of breath in and out. If the mind comes in or distraction is present, just gently allow your attention to come back to the guidance. Whatever's here is welcome just as it is.
taking an inhale, sensing both hips. Exhale, both legs and feet. So it's not easy for the mind to hold two objects at once. We're letting go of thinking and simply feel both legs, both feet. Like a radiance of sensation. Breathing in, breathing out. You may feel now as you invite your whole body into awareness with the breath, taking an inhale, exhaling, sensing your whole body simultaneously. It may all start to blend together, the breath, the felt sense, attention, awareness. Allowing and meeting your experience just as it is. Resting here for a moment, recalling this inner resource, this quality of well-being. Inviting that to fill itself out in your body and mind. All is well. Just sense that all is well. Even when there are challenges, you're sensing this support underneath, this foundational support. Noticing if there are any emotions that would like to be welcomed into your awareness right now, any emotions you've felt today that you may have brushed aside. Just be in the openness of your own presence and then allowing that presence to meet, encounter, touch, be with any emotional tones or moods or feelings that may have been present today and not fully met. Let this come through the body so it doesn't come through the mind. It's this feeling of resourced wellness, meeting and encountering emotional fluctuations. No judgment. Listening, meeting, feeling. And can you feel how the breath is like an anchor as it comes and goes? The wave of the breath. It's so close to the lived experience of the body, it's all they're working together so beautifully. Letting the breath be a support. As you consider any situations, thoughts, memories, images that may have happened today or recently that are present in your psyche just allow the images to surface. They may surface and move on. They may surface and stay. We're just welcoming and meeting in the mental realm, any images, situation, thoughts. It may want some 
care and attention in this moment. Can you feel the inner resource of well-being and ease kind of meeting the contact of your consciousness, whether that's this thought or situation, whether it's an emotion or the, the breath coming and going, the nervous system down-regulating, shifting even into states of sleep and back out. Feeling the background support and holding environment that is this inner resource. If it's not believable to the mind, that's okay. We're just inviting the body to encounter this kind of Resource, radical, holding, ease, spaciousness, openness. And can you feel at this point in the meditation, it's as if, you know, this constructed self or thought of I is also met, held, encountered by this quality of inner resource and well-being. It may not even feel central, it may just feel like a, another movement that's arising and passing away in your awareness. The thought of I, the I thought the sense of self even, and organi organizing, holding who I am together. Maybe there's a feeling of safety and ease, so much so that that holding together, holding myself together piece can just open and not be necessary. So with that may come a quality of, of great spaciousness or openness or heart opening or ease. There could even be feelings of joy present. The joy of not needing to be someone. not ignoring our humanity, but just also welcoming and meeting and encountering this radical openness that may be here. Just letting your attention rest on the breath and the body, the simple lived experience of being right now. See if that word is still present for you, whatever your word was for this feeling of being resourced internally. And we'll just hang out in meditation here, letting the body, mind kind of adjust to this feeling of open spaciousness of could even be of, of deep awareness or emptiness that's also full this is where words start to fail us and we just explore 
our inner experience in meditation in this holding environment, just doing so at your own comfort. And let your attention rest gently on the breath as you do this. And gently, slowly kind of letting go of doing and just being, just being. Feeling what a tremendous resource the body is for you in your meditation practice. As you meet and encounter the whole of who you are and the whole of life as it presents itself. You may find that your senses are particularly attuned in this moment. Maybe sound, smell, taste, touch, sight. All kind of operating in balance and open. Taking a moment of, of gratitude it could be just a felt sense from the heart. It could be more formulated than that. Just thinking yourself inwardly for being here. If there is a thankfulness or gratitude, just letting it come right from the heart as a felt sense. Maybe just the gratitude of being, no object. Remembering your intention and just circling back, seeing how that is now. And also coming back to that inner resource and noticing what image memory is here now for that. And maybe making an, an internal commitment that you'll return to this and develop connection with this sense of inner resource. If that feels right to you. Maybe just noticing how simple but powerful it is to be in tune and touch with this powerful quality of ease. Can you picture, before we close, can you picture yourself going through the rest of your evening, perhaps into sleep, 
into conversation with others or whatever it is that occurs and unfolds, can you feel this background ease carrying you through all the way into sleep? All the way through sleep and then when you wake up, feeling that quality of being refreshed, connected, supported. beyond words, but just picturing this holding presence, kind of present with you. And then allow yourself to just begin to come out of the practice and this is really slow so take your time and if you'd like to continue the meditation and simply fall into sleep feel free but if you'd like to out of the practice and come back we can have a moment for just conversation and just going at your own pace yeah and then we'll just close the formal practice here and have some moments for reflection